right, we are back for Snorlax Squad round number 33, and today we're using a different team. Uh, there's some mods that I have not used before that I'm kind of excited to try out. Uh, we're going to be using Alchemy, <laughs> Inteleon, Raichu, Amoongus, Thunderous, and Kartana. And this is... a this team has a lot of Pokemon that I'm not super familiar with, and the goal more than anything is just to have fun. Uh, some of these EV spreads are completely all over the place, and some of them are very intentional. Like, for instance, I made my uh, Alchemy max speed with a Choice Scarf to get Decorates off on some of the faster threats in the meta. I can uh, have my Kartana, my Inteleon, or Thunderous at plus two before my opponent can probably react. The only things that are really going to outspeed Inteleon, Thunderous, and Kartana are going to be things like prankster users or um like dragapult thunderous regieleki but i have raichu to counteract regieleki so that's not going to give us a ton of problem it's a ton of problems and i also have thunderous too so if they are trying to lower our stats we can use our defiant boost and get even more attack so that'll be a lot of fun uh the cool thing too is we're going to kind of try and steamroll this time uh kartana has the ability beast boost and every time i take a kill my my strongest stat goes up a little bit and for Kartana, his attack his attack stat is insane, so you're going to be boosting that every time you take a kill. So we're kind of we're kind of going to try to steamroll this time. I was debating between having Thunderous or uh, Moltres just because it's a dark type, it's immune to prankster, it has spread damage, and it's a good weakness policy user. But uh, we're going to try Thunderous today. Uh, Raichu is a support set. It's made so that it outspeeds Thunderous, and it's EV'd so that it'll survive a max strike from Regigigas if I use Charm on it. Uh, I had a lot of issues last week using not using Charm, and I'm hoping that this week it'll pay off. Uh, we have Salak Berry on it. <laughs> this is specifically to counter Regieleki teams and Regigigas teams, because with this EV build, we can Charm them, and if they use max strike into us, we'll get faster than them, so we can get another Charm off and kind of protect the rest of our team. Um, Alright, and just like that, we have our first opponent. Our opponent is hopeless today. He's not hopeless, that's just his tag. Alright, so right off the bat, we see a lot of interesting Pokemon. We have Nidoking, Regieleki, uh, Cresselia, Tyranitar, uh, I can't talk, Kartana, and Whimsicott. And one of the cool things we have is our Inteleon has Soak. So we can actually take advantage of that. I feel like this team, Inteleon's going to do well. And if he reads, leads with Regieleki, I can always just send in Raichu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead... I'm going to lead Inteleon and Kartana. Because that way I can use a uh, max overgrowth and get super effective on any Pokemon. And I'm going to have Raichu in the back so I can switch into it safely. And Amoongus because I can kind of just put anything to sleep here. Right. He says, good luck, have fun. I'm going to have fun. I hope he does too. <laughs> I'm kind of getting ambushed by my cat right now, so this is Hedwig. <laughs> you might be able to hear him purring into the mic. All right, so right away, we're off to a good start. This tells me he's going to want to set up Trick Room. We are, we are focused Ash and Teleon, so I'm going to do... I'm just gonna do the soak into max overgrowth and try and take a KO really early here. I don't think it'll KO Cresselia, but there's a chance. If they don't, I mean, they're probably not gonna Dynamax. And the fact that I have Raichu, I feel like might just scare them into not using an electric attack. He might just go for screens. Okay, he Dynamaxes. Reflect. He's a water type now. That did nothing. Does he have fire? Oh, weakness policy. Okay. That's a turn I can live with. You don't see Dynamax Cresselia too often. Luckily we set up Grassy Terrain, which works in our favor because that means that uh, they, they haven't removed our Focus Sash yet. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to, I'm just gonna get more damage onto this Cresselia. And Raichu's on the field now, which means I can fake out. Okay, Electro Web, he boosts my special attack. My speed is lowered. I don't think that... <laughs> I don't think that uh, Cresselia outspeeds me at minus one, but I could be wrong. I don't know how he's EV built it. What we can do, though, is we can do a super effective nuzzle into it. <laughs> and then just go for max overgrowth. 
again. I don't think it KOs, but it's going to put us in a really good spot. Wow, that did even less than le Oh, that was Nuzzle. I was like, I was really confused for a second there. Max Mindstorm, good thing we have our bulky Raichu. Our speed goes up thanks to our Salic Berry. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to Nuzzle everything and put them... Or you know what? We can Charm Tyranitar and just say you're getting no damage. And then... Hmm. I don't like this Cresselia sitting here. I know he can guard himself. But I don't think that Charm Tyranitar is really doing any damage to our Kartana. This gets us our Beast Boost. Okay. Superpower. Okay, I was wrong. Charmed... Charm Tar uh, T Tar can still KO. But we have Inteleon in the back. They have a Moongus. Or sorry, we have a Moongus. <laughs> this is not looking super great, but that's okay. We're going to use Spore, and then we're going to use Icy. <laughs> this is rough. We might have to rely on a Flinch on T Tar. Oh, I forgot. We've only taken one Pokemon. Yeah, this is looking really bad, but that's okay. <laughs> Are we going for the reverse Amoongus sweep? Is that what's going to happen right now? I think that Hopeless has this one. It's pretty safely wrapped up for him. Oh, nice protect. We are learning a lot about his Pokemon, though, so. <laughs> now the question is, can Amoongus 4v1? No, it can't. But, you know what? I've already revealed Spore and Sludge Bomb, so might as well just keep attacking. Wow, that Nidoking King does big damage. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we can take another KO. That's <laughs> you know what? Little by little, right? <laughs> Yeah, the sand will kill us this turn. Maybe we can see something else, though. Middle King wakes up Ice Beam. Alright. Good game to my opponent. Did I even click start streaming? Let me make sure that I did. Do -do -do -do. Okay, it is recording. Cool. Alright, we'll go for the rematch now. Alright, we revealed Soak, which was kind of just our funny move. That Cresselia is a big problem, so I'm kind of tempted to lead Amoongus. But there is the chance that it could just Oko us. Or one hit KO us. Hmm. Huh, huh. You don't see <laughs> you don't see weakness policy Cresselia a lot, or at least I haven't, so that was news to me. Our Inteleon outspeeds everything other than Whimsicott. Let's go Amoongus Raichu, and then what we're going to do is have, hmm. we're going to have Alchemy and Kratana in the back. This is all going to come down to a, well, you know what? Thunderous isn't bad here either. You know what? Let's try, it's that, that Cresselia is so tanky. It's so good. You know what? Let's just try Alchemy and Raichu. No, no, no. <laughs> Raichu and Amoongus. We're just going to try and slow them down. Make it so they don't get what they want right off the bat. And then we'll do Inteleon. Inteleon doesn't really threaten a lot other than the T-Tar and the Nidoking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Kartana because he kind of has a good matchup against everything. And I'm going to have Alchemy. It's Choice Scarf Alchemy, and it has Mystic Fire, so I can outspeed some... I think I can outspeed... No, I definitely can outspeed Kartana. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for a Fake Out. And... You know what? 
we're going to go into a nuzzle and we're going to go for a spore. Actually, you know, protect wouldn't be bad because then we'd just be stalling their max turns. Nuzzle and we're going to go into spore. I don't believe Reggie Alecki has any way to proc the Cresselia's weakness policy. I think it was more of a surprise thing. I don't think any of their Pokemon, maybe Nidoking could uh, proc it. They'd have to use like a dark or a bug move. Maybe you turn on something. Okay, Kartana. <laughs> we sport into that spot too, I'm pretty sure. Nice call. But we have Charm on this Raichu, <laughs> so. We're gonna just say no damage for you. And we might do a switch of our own. <laughs> Kartana versus Kartana. All right, now you know what? I'm thinking Alchemy just for the, oh, we got the double switches going on here. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We're gonna Volt Switch. And we are going to, hmm. I'm not opposed to clicking Dazzlingly. <sighs> Do we just double switch? <laughs> you know what? I kind of feel like Kartana's coming back out. Oh, I was wrong. You, you know what? We're, we're mitigating their damage, so that's fine. And we're going to go to our own Kartana now, and we're going to just start decorating after <laughs> we swap. So Kartana is going to say, you know what? We're going to get faster than you, and we're going to switch to Raichu. So if they do go for a Volt Switch, it's not going to go off. They're kind of getting forced to use uh, their Cresselia Dynamax, I feel like. He didn't reveal a fire move. Max Airstream will put us in a really good spot, too, because it'll mean that we're outspeeding all their Pokemon. They haven't shown their fourth guy. I believe I've shown all of our guys, <laughs> so... They're slow playing it. And the thing too here is that if they do go, if they go for reflect, they'll probably survive because I'm doing a not very effective attack into that spot. Nuzzle is annoying, yeah. We're just waiting to see. I kind of feel like we see him Dynamax here. He's got no idea that I haven't, um, that it is Choice Scarf. All right, Lightning Round gives us a boost, which is nice. Doesn't KO, that's okay. We're back to normal speed, so they really netted nothing. All right. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do Max Knuckle into that one. And we're gonna Volt Switch our Chris to the Cresselia. And the reason we're doing that is to get a double boost, and this way we also are getting our alchemy in position, so that way we can use uh, our decorate the following turn. So now we're gonna be plus two, because one for knuckle and one for beast boost. Oh, trick room. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> should've thought of that. <laughs> All right, well, either way, we're... there's been worse turns. So we're gonna use steel spike here. And I feel like we switch our Alchemy out. This is a tough call. I'm tempted to do it because there's a big incentive for him to just use uh, the Max Steel Spike into it and kill it and then get the Beast Boost too. We're going to switch. We're going to go to Amoongus because I don't think he's going to KO. Oh, he's going Cresselia, Max Hailstorm. Does about half. Sacred Sword. Man, we're, <laughs> we're Iron Ball Amoongus, so at least we have fast spores. <laughs> Ugh. We have to wait out this trick room. This is rough. He's already won. All right.
GG, good team. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're extra fast in the trick room, at least. <laughs> Ugh. Well, we can just nuzzle our way to hope that we can do something. We're choice scarf. Yeah, this is bad. Yeah, I. He said, unfortunately for me, that he has a good Cresselia. Yeah, it is unfortunate because I had no idea what to do against it. But, GG's to him. Well played. We're gonna just keep learning. So, good game.